Welcome to the Elite Dealer Ceramic for Chicago. It's great to be here. Brand new car, ready to get it set up. Lots of journeys ahead, lots planned, but this is the first stop. Yes, I've been following this obviously for a while because I had a sort of intimate knowledge about it, but we're very excited to be a part of this journey for you and to travel along with you on it. Well, it's super cool and to think, I literally took delivery of this car yesterday. Yes. And this is the start of what's going to be a very busy couple of weeks. We're going to be over at SEMA in Las Vegas. We've got a ton of miles on the road. But when it comes to something like this, you know, Mustang Dark Horse, we have to get it ready, right? We have to get it prepped for the road. We have to get this thing set for many happy miles ahead. And we've brought it over here to obviously get everything protected. And I suppose this is where I should ask you guys, what, what's the plan? What are we doing with it? Well, I want to I wanna expand on what you said. And I think it's so cool to like get on the inside of this car and see that it's like brand new and modern, but then you actually have a manual gearbox in a V8 American muscle car. Yeah. It's so cool. Like, and, and we both know this time is not going to be around forever. So, but as far as what we are doing, so we're going to protect the vehicle. Um, you know, I, I said earlier at an elite dealer, right? And the purpose of this is, is so that you know that you could come to an elite dealer, get a customized experience on how you want to protect your vehicle and know that you could really probably be anywhere in America and get that service done. So what we're going to do to it is ultimate armor, which is everything you need, nothing more, nothing less. It protects you from rock chips where you need it and environmental damage with the ceramic coating where you need it. So that's the idea is the ultimate armor. But for you, we're actually going to expand on that a little bit more because this is not your normal everyday car. So it's actually going to get the full Kabacha paint protection film wrap plus the coating, so you're gonna be ultra protected <laughs> from top to bottom. Which is exactly what we want. Yes. I mean, I've got, over the next couple of weeks alone, probably 5,000 miles on the road. We're gonna drive it from here at the Elite Dealer in Chicago, all the way down to Florida. And then we're gonna go all the way across to Las Vegas. Which is always a good time. I think you'll be surprised and, and others looking onto it that some people say, oh, white cars don't shine. But I mean, when we do what we do to this vehicle, <laughs> this white car will shine for sure. I'm looking forward to it. Right on, let's get started. You know, to me, this is like a normal check-in process, right? We want to look over the vehicle. You know, every car, doesn't matter where you spend $5,000 for a vehicle or $500,000 for a vehicle, there's going to be some defects. And so we want to just look for them, identify them, see if we can fix them, and make sure that there's an understanding before we start that uh, we know where we're at, right? The thing that I immediately uh, look for is dirt nibs, um, like bubbles in the paint and things like that. And so I came across one here where from the factory, it looks like they sanded out the nib. They did a little polish job, but they left a little bit of the sanding. So the good thing is for us, number one, we're gonna take care of it during the polishing process. And number two, even if we didn't, in this particular case, the film would totally hide it. It's interesting because, you know, this car sits here now with 16 miles on it. Yeah. It's free delivery mileage. Yeah, there's already a chip you can feel right there. Yes. You know, just from moving around a lot or whatever it's done. Yeah. Like it's already picked something up. All in all though, I see, you know, a really clean car here without a lot of problems. Like sometimes you'll see a car with just like a big drip, you know, or something yep. like that on a corner. Yep. Um, and those can be problematic for putting on films. Um, and I don't see anything like that. I think it's interesting how obviously a car like this, right, has different textures and different materials from gloss white paint, gloss black paint, the satin gray around here, which, you know, looks super cool. The vinyl livery over the top. Yeah. There's a lot of things to have to work with. It's yeah. not just, here's a flat body panel roll. And you're a car guy and most of the people watching your channel are car guys, but, but it's important to know too, like on a vehicle like this, what can be protected with paint protection film, mm -hmm. what can't be protected with paint protection film and what a ceramic coating would do, right? So ceramic coating can go on any hard exterior surface of the car. So paint, plastics, wheels, lights, glass, anything. Paint protection film can only go over smooth surfaces. So like, for instance, actually this, this, this is a smooth surface. So we can put that paint protection film over mm -hmm. this and it'll retain its factory look. Whereas this here, you would not be able to put a beam. No, because that's a rough plastic surface. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, the paint's the main thing, right? Because on any car, the last thing you want to do is damage your paint and have to do a respray and have to fix things after the fact, which is always impossible really to get back to that original factory impossible. look and feel. Yeah. You'll never have exactly the same, which is why certainly for me, I'm a big, big, big advocate of protecting it from the beginning. We've had it transported here. Yeah. <laughs> so literally not even drive a single mile on the road, just into the trailer over straight to Ceramic Pro Chicago to get started with this process. So my big question now going into this process is, 
Cavaccio paint protection film is super, super glossy, right? And so when I put Cavaccio paint protection film over this matte and satin material, it's going to make it look glossy. So, you know, this is the livery. It's uh, an option on the car. I actually ordered this so early, one of the first dark horses. And at the time you had to order it. You couldn't have a car without the appearance package. So I'm not as, I'm not as, I'm not feeling as much as I have to keep it necessarily. Um, but I do think against the white, we've got this stormtrooper thing going on here, right? The sure. black and white, like the, yes. the, the contrast. And I don't think necessarily that that in gloss would be a bad thing. You know, because it's on the gloss, this is in gloss. Yes. Um, you now my feeling before today was really undecided how to do it, how to approach it. I feel like it's flip a coin. <laughs> we could go either way. I think my, my feeling right at the second is that we do gloss PPF with the Cavaccio film over the whole top and um, go over the top of the, the vinyls, keeping them on, keeping them looking nice and protecting them as well because... Yes, it will protect it. I think, let's be real, give it five years and these will look like a mess anyway. Less than five years. Yeah? Yes. So some protection film over the top will keep those looking nice. Tell me, just I'm interested, why did you choose this car? <laughs> I love, I actually have a previous generation Mustang as well, the Shelby GT500, which is like the ultimate track beast. And I love my Fords in general. I'm lucky to own a new Ford GT, Focus RS Heritage, which is a special edition, have a Mackie GT, a Transit van, a bunch of different Fords in, in the garage. And the GT500 was a car I absolutely loved it. I bought it out here in the US two and a half years ago, drove it coast to coast, did some rallies, tons of events, went all around the country. And when Ford launched the new seventh gen Mustang, I was like, we can still buy a car with a naturally aspirated V8 and a manual gearbox. Count me in. I'm sold immediately, sold immediately. So put in the order, obviously being British and not US resident, I had no idea how I was going to go about buying it and actually registering it, insuring it and all of that, but finally managed to work all of that out. Some people choose to get their car protected because they want to preserve value. And some people choose to get their car protected because they want to enjoy it the most while they own it. Right, and I get the impression that you're both of those. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm both both together, yes. bring it together. And that's the perfect, that's the perfect customer, right? Somebody who cares about their vehicle, wants to preserve the value, wants it to look perfect the whole time they own it. and wants it to be really easy to have it look perfect while they own it. So that's what we're gonna do. Yeah, so it'll be, I guess it will keep the paintwork underneath protected, stone chips, damage, things like that. It's gonna be easier to clean because I'm often on the road. I do a lot of road trips. I just need to get the car washed up looking pretty quite easily and right. there will be those benefits. And then at the other end of the spectrum, obviously it will just look bright, it will look glossy, it will be bold and make a statement and i mean this thing with the white and black contrast is it's quite it's quite strong already to begin with so i think the the final result is going to be really quite cool but you know a car like this i i always believe that you know we live in an amazing time with cars the technology the the feeling the emotion a car like this can bring to you and the whole purpose of them is to get out there and drive and there's nothing better than driving knowing that it's also being looked after in the process you know it's going to stay looking good it's easy to forget about that you get to the other end and your car's covered in road rash you've had some stuff falling on it wherever you've parked it overnight and it's generally looking a mess. And to me, there's nothing better than having had those memories and enjoyable experiences, but then you look back at the car and it still looks factory fresh. It's brand new. 100%. Perfect.